Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to Institute of Logic. My name is Tariq Aziz. Today, I am very excited to show you another streamlit application, web application. And in this project, I using my SQL. In previous project, I was used SQL Lite 3, while in this project, I am using my SQL. So let me quickly show you the project look like. This is basically a patient management system, and these are the two files. One is uh, image, and the other is app dot file. So let me click the terminal here. And to run a streamlit project, you must type streamlit, then run, and then name of your file. So my file name is app.py. Okay, and this is our home page. As you can see, I am at some animation using lottie file and this is the home page it's at the sidebar you can see that there are some navigation options add patient record show patient record search and edit patient record delete patient record and after that add patient appointments which is another table and which is uh, connected through this patient table with the help of uh, primary and foreign key and this will show all appointments okay so let me show you add a patient record so whenever you click it bring another interface which demand the patient credential so enter patient name for example akram after that its age is for example 30 and after that contact of patient so contact of patient for example i just add 1122334455 and email is uh, for example akram at gmail.com and after that address so address for example is shower and let's add so the patient record inserted successfully so let me show you the patient records here click here and it will show you uh, some patient that i was already inserted and here is the akram which we just inserted search and edit a patient for example so you can search by id by contact number and by CNIC and you can use this project as your own and you can insert different search options I will provide my github repository link and you can use this project as your own let me uh, search by ID so ID selected and I want to select ID number 10 this is the id number 10 we are just inserted and here is the patient uh, details so i want to change it to akram khan just for instance and click update so the patient record update successfully so let see and here that the name is from akram to akram khan okay so let me delete a patient record you also can search with name contact number and id so let again search with id and the same contact i want to delete it so patient record delete successfully uh, let's show all records and the akram is a deleted from the database okay let me add patient appointment for example uh, let me add a uh, ID number two, and uh, this is the date which is automatically inserted, and you can uh, use to change the date also. You can change the time also. 
and uh, let me enter the doctor name so for example doctor name is Hamza uh, appointment detail for example so let me add headache and add appointment appointment record it successfully let me show the appointment to all appointments and this is the uh, appointments and this is the trend appointments of patient ID 2 and here you can see that uh, the doctor name is Hamza and the notes is a, a headache let's click to the last option search and edit patient appointment with the help of ID patient ID and a doctor name with a doctor name we also can search a patient search a patient with id and also we can search a patient by a patient id which is the patient table id so let me uh, click here and uh, let's try to three appointment not found it's mean that the patient id the patient having id 3 I have no appointment so let's check 2 and yes as you can see patient id 2 appointment date and appointment time etc and here you can change its credential for example let's write on ali for example for instance and update the record and let me show uh, all appointments so the id 2 and here is ali no it is here <coughs> khan ali it's patient id 2 as you can see so this is the complete crud operation let me show you the coding and don't worry about the coding i will provide my github repository link and you can download the code and use as its own and uh, this is our coding project let me open with sublime as i am using sublime text and here is the complete code of this database as you can see here that these are the libraries that we are using in our project and uh, uh, Loti is for animation and uh, pandas first data frame and mysql.connector library with the help of which we can use SQL commands within our Python application. So this is the complete code and this is a function which provide me a JSON animated file from Loti and this is for create connection. This is create database and this is uh, create patient table and uh, this is modify patient table i am working on this project but still i am not using modify patient table uh, with the help of this function you can modify your table columns and here create appointment table it is insert patient records as you can see and this is the fetch all patients and uh, you can show uh, all patient and this is the query select steric from patient steric mean all thing from patient table it will return the patient a variable which contain the patient uh, records of patient table and fit patient by id you can as i show you here as you can see you can search by id by contact number by cnic so this is fetch patient by id fetch patient by contact and uh, fetch patient by cnic as there is no column for cnic but you can uh, insert cnic column also and this is delete patient record so with the help of this function we can delete a record from a uh, patient insert appointment records here we can insert record here is, as you can see there is uh, just some changes to the format of our data type uh, data type of some columns appointment time and appointment date so we can first convert it to the required format to show 
uh, in the table and this is the query insert into appointments patient id appointment date appointment time doctor name notes etc which all appointments with the help of this function we can uh, show complete appointments records of a table and here is show all appointments so uh, here we just fetch the appointments and here we show the appointments so as you can see this is a very long project and this is a huge coding but don't don't afraid it's it's very simple and i provide a link for a github repository and you are easily download it you can change it to as your requirement so uh, this is a complete project of my sql i hope that uh, you like this project it is just a demo i will soon start a playlist where i explain this project step by step this is just a demo uh, if you are not subscribed to our channel so please subscribe and like the video see you in next video thanks for watching